would like to say, welcome to Tasty Tuesday. And it's Robert's 30. birthday. It's Robert's birthday. Yes, and it's my birthday. I was going to try to keep that quiet because I'm pretty much going on the leap year birthday routine. <laughs> we're going to do whatever we can to even up the odds here. And tonight we're over to a great friend of ours, Bob and Melanie Bates. Whenever I was a little kid, Bob was the first person to ever give me an outboard engine. It was a two horsepower. And me and my good friend Roy Burnside Jr., we used to just run around like we were just like we were pirates on that thing. I mean, how many of you guys show up to your birthday dinner with a fresh Dorado? Uh, I show up with cupcakes or cake or ice cream cake. She shows up expecting cupcakes. <laughs> Thanks, right, so, Lauren. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fillet some fish now. You got a fish and you want to stay clean. You don't have to get dirty. I mean, we're here for a dinner party, and if you're wondering, that's my little silver stag, eight inch fillet knife. Cut it down there. Follow that head up. This will come down. Follow that backbone. Just like that. Now here's where I do things a little bit differently. You can see that bone. That's the start of the of the center line. That's the start of the bloodline. Start there. This is gonna go right down the center of the backbone, right to the tail. Just like that. And now I'm not trying to bend the back, I'm not trying to bend the fillet over gonna come out. That's a beautiful top loin. In. Mm, what's that? Now you've got your two, your two loins. I mean, I've got a little bit of fish on my hands, but that's it. Now I'm gonna repeat the process over here. Bob, I can just throw this out in your yard, right? <laughs> no, no, he's kidding. <laughs> he's kidding. Wait, let me get. Look at that. Fresh fish. Now, I'm gonna have to wash this off when I get to the house, but for now, we're ready to go inside and cook. All right, you guys, so we just got done cutting the fish, and now we gotta trim it. You see that? See that red part? That's part of the bloodline. And if you've ever eaten fish that tastes fishy, probably because they left some of the bloodline in. And what I'm gonna do is take my knife, and I'll just cut that out. Just like that. You're gonna want a sharp knife, otherwise you're gonna mutilate your fish while you're trying to do that. You can have some, you just don't want a lot. Now we're gonna cut it in portions. So we want like that big, that big. Yeah, perfect, three portions. So we're gonna season this up. So I'm gonna use a little bit of applied knowledge. We had a recipe like this the other day that came out amazing. So I'm gonna just try. I'm gonna try something totally new here. Let's just lather this up. We're gonna lather our fish, just like that. Nice. I know this feels weird, blah, blah, blah. Some of you may not even like mayonnaise, but I promise you, you will never in your life ever taste or even know that there was mayonnaise on this fish. And Bob and Melanie have no idea what we're doing right now. They're like, what does he do? <laughs> Yeah, I know. So you guys, and again, you know, I don't give you recipes, I give you ideas. You come dear me for dinner to hang out with us, see our crazy life, and get ideas. If you want a recipe, I don't even cook by recipes, so I don't know how to deal with that. I do, so I'll let you know. This is just a little black non-stick pan. Just like that. Try to give them just a hair bit of room, just so the heat can get in between. All right, so you guys, so many of y'all have been like, Rob, I don't mean to be rude, I'm not a stalker, and I'm not weird, but you should let your wife be a part of this. <laughs> and she actually knows what she's doing because when she came to Florida, she, had no, she didn't even really know how to turn a stove on, but she's learning. And she's got a lot of will, a lot of desire, 
and um, she's a quick learner. So they saw that. we're gonna let her finish up this recipe. I don't even know the recipe. Rob, Rob's just throwing it at me. But I do know coconut, and it's good on, on fish. So if you guys ever get coconut shavings, get this because it's the best. Okay, so now that I've put the coconut shavings on, we're gonna let it sit for a little bit so that it sticks to the mayo and doesn't come off in the oven. Oh, Are you yeah. sure about that? <laughs> Rob told me so yes. <laughs> While Bob and Sarah are talking about killing ants, um, we're actually cooking. So we've got our peeled sweet potatoes. These are just typical sweet potatoes. That's a pot with some water. Cut your, cut these things into like normal chunks. There's no right way or wrong way to do this. You're just cutting them like this. We've got our water boiling, and here's our sweet potatoes. All right, that's it. Now we've got some organic, fresh carrots that Miss Melanie grew in her garden. Actually, that's not the truth. <laughs> they were grown in California. Honey, don't saw it. Now what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna skin these real quick. What are you doing, baby? Um, peeling the carrots. So here we go. This is what we've got going on right now. We've got our carrots. carrots sweet potatoes. Get nice and soft. Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. My head is not right, but we've got our sweet potatoes. They're nice and soft. We've got them turned down low. Over here, we've got our pan with some butter. We're gonna turn this down. And here's some organic carrots. Don't you want to cut off the tops? No, leave them on there. And what we do is, while they're in here, you just want to twist them around so they get a little bit of that lovely butter all over them, just like that. Okay? Then, thank God she's got this stuff. A little bit of Everglades. And if you think I'm jacking around, buy some. I guarantee you this will be a spice you use every day. Eggs, meat, fish, vegetables, I don't care. You'll use it. So, we've got this on medium heat, covered up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drain this, mash them up. Ooh, kind of warm. We're just going to strain it. I don't wear glasses because they'd be fogged up right now. Perfect. All right. There. Now, we made this a while back, but now the the uh, the coconut's sticking to that fresh dolphin. Good to go. About 20 minutes. Perfect. So I'll take about couple nice big teaspoons of brown sugar, about like that. Good. Cinnamon. Cinnamon's awesome. Not a ton. A lot of people said that with the um, squash too the other day. Yeah, squash would have been great. Got a little bit of cream. About like that. And then we've got butter. And not real fast, because you're not trying to destroy anything. But look how, woo -hoo, it's all coming together, baby. It smells so good. Oh. Baby. Don't whip it too much, because you want it to have a little bit of texture. Look at that. Look at them carrots, y'all. Smell that? That's what I'm talking about. I'll just take these. Put them in. Here's my trick. Over the top, make sure it's high. Make sure it's high. A little bit of salmon. Alrighty. This looks like it's working. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. 
Cool, it smells really good. That is what I am talking about. Mm. You know, there's nothing more important to me than friends, family, what we do here. And it's really awesome to be over here with uh, Bob and Melanie. So we're gonna ask Boss to, to say the blessing here. Heavenly Father, I'd just like to thank you for this evening, Lord. Thank you for this fellowship that we have here. Thank you for this good food. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So a lot of times, so many of you say, we'd love to see you say the, the grace before dinner. And all this is, for those of you who may not understand or may not know, we're thankful. I'm thankful for today. I'm thankful for the health that we have, the relationships that we have, and I'm thankful for our salvation. I'm thankful for this food. And when we sit down and you see us say grace, that's all we're doing. And we're saying thank you. So. I'm not gonna. Now let's see if uh, they like the food. That'll be something else to be thankful for. Sarah? <laughs> what am I smirking at? She's filming you being filmed. Are you filming her being filmed? She's so funny. She's a trip, isn't she? Now let's hear let's hear what you think of the fish, because I've never cooked it like this before. I know. Okay, so coconut smells really, really good. Yep, look up. Mmm. Sarah, you are so funny. No joke. It's really good. It's really moist, uh, but you can taste the coconut. And I'm fighting some head cold, but I can still taste it through the cold, which is good. I'm telling you right now, the carrots, the way we just did the carrots, stinking phenomenal. No, no. Mashed potatoes. Mashed sweet potatoes. Oh. A plus on this meal. She's totally working <laughs> on her Instagram page. Yeah. She's gonna send that to the grandkids. Yeah. <laughs> My fish is almost gone. Yeah. But I gotta be honest. Fish and steak, steak, fish, some chicken, three things that I absolutely love, I'm having a hard time eating. But this fish, it's better than the breaded fish, it's better than the grilled fish, I, oh. So this fish I can eat, and I need fish, I need that. I mean, not all the time, but you need yeah, you fish need oil. That. So yeah. I'm glad he cooked it like this, because I can eat it. Yeah, so, and that's really easy, because typically when I crust fish, it's the flour, the egg, the crust, pan fry it. This was simply season it, roll it in some mayonnaise, crust it, and bake it. Boom, so thank you all so much. We, uh, we just came running through 103,000, and, uh, and life is good. Thank you all so much, we are. Oh, wait, do it again. It didn't even cover half of it. Ow. <laughs>